Hiya folks, it's Kikoskia here, and welcome back to Let's Play Betrayal at Krondor. And when last we left off, we went and sold some things, and then we found these taverns here. But not before encountering some strange, watery undead thingies that fired bolts of undead power? I'm not sure what the attack was, but it really hurt. And we were able to deal with those, but not without it getting a bit too close for comfort for James. These two taverns here, we also managed to find an encounter, as we somehow disrupted an agreement some mercenaries had with a tavern? I don't know, but we got stuff and we need to sell this stuff before we move forward, so let us get back on the road and make our way back to, you guessed it, back to Nia also want to use this little path here, because this path is great for, uh, getting back to this part of the road. Also, it's getting dark, so we need to rest. Running a bit low on rations, but that's fine. We will buy some more rations when we get to Nia's. Nia really isn't that far away, like a day or so's travel, and we're here. We could rest in the tavern, but you know what? We're just going to wait outside. Save our money. We're here, and we want to sell some things with you, Nia. Hopefully you uh, want to buy some things, like this armor for 11. And already we've made up all the rations that we're going to buy to get back. Uh, we're also going to sell this sword, and we're going to sell this sword. We're also going to sell this armor for 56 sovereigns. And this here for a hundred and six. Oh yeah, that's, uh, that's a lot of money right there. Also, twelve, nine. We don't need to buy either of them right now. What we do want to buy are a couple of rations. Like, seven? No, let's buy a bit more than seven. Because you're going to need four. You're going to need four. Let's buy fourteen. And haggle for it. I'm doing this without actually uh, having haggle selected. What am I doing? I don't know. I'm being foolish. That's what I'm doing. The haggles really your, Both your haggles are really impressive. So 13, 13. I just want to give you this. And uh, there we go. No more extra inventory uh, slots taken up. And we get to haggle a bit. Might as well. Eventually, when the party is at full haggling, we won't need to haggle anymore. It's still going to be quite a while in the future until this happens. Unless, of course, I just sat here for a while and uh, did it. But uh, we'll just haggle a bit while we're in the vicinity. How cheap can we get restoratives? We can get 20% off on restoratives. We can also get 20% off there, too. We can generally get 20% off. Which is a good discount. 200? Yeah, that's just a straight 20%. That's more than 20% there, but I think that's probably enough for haggling. Oh yeah! That's more than enough for haggling, that is a percentage increase. You're at 95! 95 and 75, and who wants to bet we'll find some lockboxes as soon as we get back to, uh... to uh, the road to progress, and we just have to do this all over again. Probably, but either way, here we go! Zoom! We can really make a lot of progress in one day. We can really make a lot of progress. Okay, we are here. We're then going to take this little road over here and join the road again. Make our way back to these taverns. And I spy over here a big woodland. And of course there are boxes within the woodland because the game's taught us that there are boxes in woodland. It's like the game knew that I was uh, expecting there to be things here. So let's delete this one. And let's make another save. Is it 55? It is. It is 55 for our saves. It's not 55 for the video. Right. Let's do some unlocking. It's a Mordhell lockbox! Claws like a cat, crooked as a snake's hiss. Patch, your, patch together your guesses. You won't get this. Hmm. Hmm.
Briars? Oh, it is Briars, isn't it? I was thinking Thorns, and then we've had Thorns already. Briars. So what do we have? Money? Another Gilder's Passkey. The game is just throwing these at us. That. And more lockpicks. How many lockpicks do you have now? 29. That's not bad. That's one. That one's just locked. So that's not actually a Mordhell lockbox. Who works when he plays and plays when he works? Um, a bard? Oh, I'm good at this today. What do we have? We have some True Sight Tea, which we'll absolutely give to you. We have way too much True Sight Tea. We could actually sell some of this True Sight Tea. We have a whole thing of True Sight Tea. Mental note, sell that when we get to uh, near again. Also, armor and a shell. We will absolutely repair the armor. And then we'll see what's in the box that is locked. And we'll do that by practicing your lock picking. We'll also just have you have lock picking as well selected. Why not? Now, the locked one. I should have checked if it was trapped. Well, that was foolish of me. Either way, I am no fool. Ooh! 159 sovereigns, which is lovely. Another one of these Althafane's Ices. Sure. Coltari Poison. Famed on Kelawan as a deadly slow poison, Coltari Poison would be of no use on a blade. Its effects too delayed to be of any use against an armed opponent. It could, however, be applied to foods or drinks to strike down an unsuspecting victim. Huh. Why would I want that? I don't know. Either way, we've got it. Huh. That, that's concerning that that is an item we can get. It's very concerning, but... I'll take it. I'll also save, because we're getting closer to Sloop. I really hope Sloop has a store. Otherwise, we're just going to be uh, hopping back to Nia's again. Right. Over here, there is a house. Just in the middle of nowhere. The owner of the house, a bearded man of about 50, obviously saw James approaching because the door swung open before he had a chance to knock. Good day to you, sirs. My name is Buck Roush, and who might you be? James made the appropriate introductions, and the man smiled at them warmly. Then he said, The river has been fruitful this season. Could I interest you in you find gents in some dry trout? Or perhaps you'd like to buy one of my handmade shovels? Or maybe a torch? Sure. Very good, then. Step this way, gentlemen. Wait until you taste my dry trout. I season it with fresh basil and just the right amount of sea salt. He smacked his lips loudly and led them inside. Well, you sell rations, shovels, and torches. Will you buy anything of mine? Will you buy armor? No. 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 So you won't buy any of my stuff cool that that's there. I mean, nice that there's a store. Okay, forwards we go. Why? Oh! Well, a man approached. I've come to speak with you, he began. There are men paying to find out where you are. I might be persuaded to forget I've seen you if you can outbid them. Rumor monger! Angered James advanced on the man. What have you told them? I haven't told them much. I mean, yet, the man yelped. Realizing too late his greed had out overbalanced his wits. In desperation, he pulled his sword. Well, this is a bad, bad decision you've made. I mean, you're not bad at this. You're not bad at this. However, You're now gone. Yay, victory!
I totally stumbled into that one. What do you have? More rations! Hey, the game heard that I needed rations, and so gave me rations. Shouldn't have bought those rations. Oh well. More rations is never a bad thing. Have all the rations. We're now full on rations again. Can we take this sword? We can. We'll also take these sovereigns. Sword for you to fix. Defense has gone up uh, to 66%, which is not bad. So we shall fix this right up. Have you hold this. And then we will armor craft this. Do, am I really about to head back to um, Nia's? Am I about to head back to Nia's with, with what's in my bags now? I mean, I could. I've got, what, four spaces? If I give you that, we have four whole spaces of inventory. There's also a hole in the ground. Aha! Another ration! To go with the other rations, and another shell. We are... we're absolutely going back to Nia's, aren't we? Yep! Yeah, we are. We just have no space. Again. Sell that True Sight T when I get there. Sell the True Sight T, me. Just seems like a good idea. Sell the T. Just make some room. Also, rest here. There we go. Resting has been done. And now, we zoom! Nia's probably really happy for our business, but also probably quite perplexed as to why we keep travelling back to her all the time every time we decide to sell something. I suppose she's not going to uh, complain in the end. Also, um, pass over some of these rations, if you would. Two. And two. Excellent. Okay, store here. You know, this means, folks, bit more haggling. There is probably a store in Sloop. I imagine there is a store in Sloop. But you know what? This store we know. We'll use this store. And we're also going to sell some of this True Sight tea. 35 sovereigns. Good deal. We'll keep a stack of each of these. Um, you take that. Um, sell this as well. And sell this. And to be honest, sell the one of these that has less charges. 57 sovereigns. Good. That's 13. I feel like I should keep that. I feel like that should be kept. I also feel like this note should be kept too. I give you that. There we go. We're back to having a decent amount of inventory. And also... I mean, we're here. We're here. We might as well get some haggling done. Why not? We're so close to getting a hundred haggling for Gorath. Then Gorath and Owen could literally start up a business with four royals and a piece of string, and then buy Krondor. Now, if we can get him to a hundred bard as well, I mean, if we can get them all to a hundred bard, they could just give up trying to save the kingdom and become traveling bards. Right up until Delikhan wants Korath dead, but uh, maybe we'll be able to win him over with an amazing power ballad. Okay, I, wishful thinking, I know, wishful thinking, but... Also, by selling the True Sight T to, um, Nia, we've basically ensured that she has True Sight T in her inventory forever. And this, um, Isa as well, because they won't ever disappear. Well, to a point. To a point. Right, have we gained... Oh yeah! We gained some more haggling. Haggle power, 96%. Also, I did that while you had armor craft selected. That was folly, but didn't really hurt us that badly. I, I really, really have a problem with inventory space. But some of this stuff is just so useful, and I feel like holding on to a ruby is just a smart idea. Holding on to this book is also a smart idea. Unless there's no more characters that can be introduced into the story. If that's the case, then we're literally holding on to um, that for no reason. Also, we have used some of the uh, restorative, so... Uh, 
that's a few spaces uh, cleared out. And at some point, we're probably going to lose that. Some people would say get rid of the crossbow bolts, but you never know when we might actually need to use a crossbow. And if we do, having those crossbow bolts will be useful. I, I can't say when that will happen, but it might also have that. Now we have an extra inventory space that will inevitably get taken up by something pretty much immediately. Do this, we can follow the little road that then takes us to here, and we can go north and over here to you, and this place here, this leads to keep out. Um, I don't think anybody's gonna come. Actually, someone might complain. There is a house here. There are also some wells. Well, well, let's go check them out. Ha <laughs> ha, that was a terrible pun. Let's go say hi. James knocked on my door. Doesn't seem like anyone's about. Drinking some water from a small well, they drank greedily. They stopped in long enough to fill their pouches. Y you have two wells. Why do you have two? Keep out! Is there something here that warrants the keep out? Is there like a box or something? That'd be why I'd think you'd want people to keep out, but no! Apparently there's... there's... Literally nothing here, just... Just... Emptiness. All right. We did find that person that tried to kill us, but uh, he was a bit of a fool. So, where are we now? How close are we to... We're very close to Sloop now. Let's go this way, round the corner. There's a tiny path. Oh, dear. Oh, just one ghost. Okay. Just one ghost. I mean, it's unfortunate that you did that, because that hurts a lot, but uh, one ghost we can deal with. Probably. Do that. How about thee? Oh, nope. You're just going to hit uh, James again. Regrettable. You know how much you're going to do? Where is... Not that. Not to spare their eyes or thoughts like confused enemy spellcasters. That is an interesting one to have. Uh, gift of Sunk. You know what? Have. 15 of my stamina. Also, we win. Yay! Bye, ghost. Ghost is gone. James's accuracy melee has gone up. Good thing, too, because, um, there's no stamina there. Bit of a problem. Right, anything else here? This would be where I'd... This would be where I'd hide something. Oh, good! Worshippers of Giswa. How many? Three. Right, um... You charge forward. Distract this man. Um... Honestly, hit him with a stick, and you attack him. They're guarding a lot of treasure chests. Aha! Fine hit. One down. You do some resting. How about they? Oh, ho! Owen with the kill! Staff bonk. For victory. Go on, Owen. Take him out with your stick. It's not a good idea. But by all means, keep taking him out with your stick. Donk. Oh ho! Double kill for Owen. James's defensibility has increased. Excellent. I. It's criminal that you did not gain accuracy melee there. Also, we have more things to open. Yay! Oh, an armorer's hammer. Do I really want that? There's an armorer's hammer here. There's more elven armor here. And poisoned bolts. Okay, this is a good amount of inventory. We do want to take this with us. And we're probably taking it back to Nia. Like, 
Sloop is right over there, but is there actually going to be a store in Sloop that we can sell things in? I don't know. Maybe I should check that. Maybe I should. Either way, when we come back, folks, selling all the stuff that these people have, going through all these boxes, and then going to Romney. Romney's very close. Very close. But I fear when we get there, things are going to go wrong. Why? Because things haven't gone right since we started this adventure. Why should they start going right now? And so, I'll catch you next time, folks, and I'll see you then. Later.